Okay, it is Sunday right now. Um, so today I'm... I have to do my laundry actually. <laughs> my bed sheets and my towels and just a bunch of clothes I like okay one of the things I hate most in life is doing laundry and it didn't occur until I actually came to New York City where I have to go to a laundromat the the washer and dryer is not in your the apartment unit because there's just so little space so I freaking hate that and it's like the bane of my existence. Anyway, today's really nice, so I'm gonna get ready with you guys. I have a bunch of products um, that I'm gonna try and I'm really excited about because I've got these like new foundations, new stuff, I don't know. I actually woke up at like 10 and I've just been eating tuna sandwiches. You know when you wake up and you just kind of feel like something? For some reason I just felt like a tuna sandwich this morning, so did that. Okay, so anyway, let's get ready. So to start, I'm going to use this... I don't know if I can be bothered to do like product shots, but I'll just show you here. I'm going to use this Clarins. It's Instant Smooth Line Correcting Corrector. I'm going to use this. This isn't new. I've had this for a while. It just comes in a little clicky pen. I really like the texture of it um it's not like really silicony but it also really does help to just smooth the skin i got a new pimple here from last night we ate hot pot um just at home the funny thing is with these primers i feel like nothing will really help the oil and the sweat seep out you know like it's gonna happen anyway I'm gonna look like an oily spring roll at the end of day, regardless of what primer I actually use. But the thing is, the primer just helps the makeup stay on. When I don't have it on, there's a considerably big difference on my face. So it'll still be shiny, but it still keeps it kind of looking put together. Yes. Okay, so for foundation, I got this Dior Air Flash spray foundation and then I realized I got the wrong shade bloody idiot you I'm just gonna try it out see if I can mix it in what you normally do is you shade and then I love this because the application is super easy but you just go Oh my god, I look like an Oompa Loompa. See, I told you, I got the wrong shade. But anyway, I'm gonna cancel that out with a bit of this. And hopefully it'll be a nice sun-kissed color. Okay, I still look orange. Okay, so we can still make this work. So if you get a foundation that's a little bit too dark, you know, this is a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan concealer and I'm going to kind of correct the under eye and also like highlight the areas that I want a little bit lighter and then just leave the rest that darker color because yeah so the Kevin Aquan if you've watched my um, like holy grail products this is like one of my favorite products because it's so high coverage it's kind of scary so I only put a little bit of that on I don't know if I should move closer move closer and I'm just gonna buff it in with the buffer brush so one of the things that really gives me life is that now that it's getting warmer, there's so many events going on. I really want to go to an open, uh, what do you call it? Those like open air cinemas. So romantic. I highlighted the chin, the nose, and the under eye and forehead. So now you can see it just kind of looks nice and tan and my body is tan like this is just my normal color coming out of winter <laughs> now if you have any additional areas that you want to conceal go ahead and do that i'm just using this og battered up revlon age defy just have a little bit of scarring it's just part of life actually you know what really annoys me when guys have really good skin and when they have really good legs because <laughs> I'm like oh those are the two things that like growing up I was most insecure about because I've always had kind of 
trouble with my skin. It's just very, very hormonal. Yay! See? Oh my god. So this is why I love the Dior Flash Foundation so much. It just... Did you see how little time it took to actually apply? You just hold it like this far away and then you just spray it on the face. Really light spray and it already like covers so much and it gives such a nice glow even though it was a little bit darker but you know you still kind of make it work and that's what I do anyway like with a lot of my foundations whether they're um, a little bit lighter I'll just mix it in with a darker shade if it's a lighter shade I mix it in with a darker shade and it becomes one <laughs> okay that coffee is really starting to get into the blood system right now <laughs> all right so now I'm going to go in with this dirty covered Dior powder so it's just like this when you open it it's got this like thing that I actually use for contouring because it's like perfect um, but this is in the shade it's the Dior skin compact 30 so I'm just gonna set the under eye I like to just set the under eye area and the rest of the face too. so I'm just lightly setting that all down the good thing about this um I just keep going back to it because I really like it the air flash foundation is that it dries um, like it sets on the face not dewy so you could actually get away with not setting it down I feel because it becomes it just settles on the skin really nicely so yeah it just worked out perfectly Okay, so I'm just gonna contour a little bit on the cheeks. I always have to do- Oh no, look what happened to my palette! It was bound to happen. Look at the state of this thing, man. This is so ghetto! Alright. Okay, so like, lately, I've been thinking a lot about the whole dating and relationships kind of topic. Not because- not- inspired by real life events i'm still with my boyfriend it's fine <laughs> um but my friend has recently started using the online kind of dating apps um coffee meets bagel and you know like east meets east and what's the other one bumble and to me it's just so interesting i'm like living vicariously through them you have no idea because okay so with coffee meets bagel you get a couple of matches each day so i think that's bronze enough i'm looking very bronze and for blush i think i'm gonna use this mac pearl sunshine it's really nice it's like pearlescent really nice pinky coral shade and it's funny like it's interesting to me because when i got into my relationship it's been like four and a bit years now four and a half years and Back then, like, there was... No one really used apps openly. Like, it wasn't really a thing yet. Only when I started... When I was, like, a year into my relationship, or two years into my relationship, did, like, things like Tinder really start to blow up. And, like, right now, it's just kind of the norm. It's accepted, you know, that you have met someone on a dating app, which was totally different for me back then, which is why I'm so interested. And I'm like, how does this work? Oh my God. And they're always like, Flea, I think you're enjoying this way too much. Like I'm the one that's kind of going through their matches and I'm like, so do you like this one? Like I'm not feeding them information, but I'm just narrating it. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and going in with diffused light just to kind of set the face and make it glowy if you guys are looking for like a really really nice powder just get the single one of this diffused light i don't know what it is it gives that like airbrushed kind of look to the skin the camera does it no justice and i can't really explain it but it just gives a airbrushed look all right so my new favorite eyebrow pencil is this Dior Brow Styler. Yeah, Brow Styler. Um, I got it in the shade Universal Dark Brown. It's perfect if you have hair color like me. It's not completely black. Anyway, so this pen is really good. It's really compact. Um, that's the size, so I carry it around. And you just twist it up, and then out comes the pencil. It's very nice and uh, waxy, so it's really 
it's not too creamy so it's not gonna like smudge all over the shop so I normally just really lightly run it under the eyebrow to create kind of the base of the shape and then start from the back and shape it out and you can so see how this is kind of like square it's fine you just kind of so brush out the front so that there's a gradient and then I like to brush this kind of upwards up and sideways like kind of diagonally like that this pimple is in the way of my eyebrow sod off mate all right so for eyes don't worry i'm gonna continue my online dating app story or thoughts soon my new favorite palette is this one it's the lap cost sorry everything's like really dusty and dirty it's the lap cost uh eye palette and this i'm not sure where they're from but i also bought a bunch of clothes from their website um because they sell clothes and Korean makeup maybe it's Korean makeup but guys guys you will die this is like my ultimate palette I've been using it every single day look at it it's perfect it's got these more V shades and then these kind of dusty rose pinky shades it's perfect okay so once again I'm gonna show you a really easy look so I'm gonna go in first with this really nice dusty rose peachy shade right here all over the lid I want to be all over the lid right now so it creates a really nice space and during summer I don't want to look like I'm wearing too much makeup on the eye and then I'm gonna go in with this mauve shade mix it in with a little bit of brown and then just concentrate that towards the outer kind of uh, corner to deepen it up a little. And use a really fluffy brush so it's not too concentrated. And then I like do the same thing every time. Get a pencil brush and use exactly the same colors and layer it on the under the lash line. And actually I love this kind of like just smoky kind of look right now normally I would just like put mascara on and call it a day yeah so there's like three sections that you fill out about yourself and it says I am and then you can put three things and then I like put three things and then the third one is I like it when my date is and then you put three things and it's f so funny to me when I come across like pictures so people obviously upload like three to five pictures but they leave that all blank and I'm like excuse me do you think your picture just solely your picture is good enough to entice people and I'm like that's kind of vain right like damn but it just made me think like is it easier to be a guy or to be a girl using these apps you would think girls get approached more often than girls approach guys, right? Generally. Um, but I'm just thinking, is that the same for these apps or is it actually 50-50, you know? Because it's not just like, okay, depending on the guy to, you know, make the first move anymore. Because if the chick likes, like, likes the guy's profile, then it's on him. So then I guess the ball's in his court, you know? If I had to go back into the dating world, which I don't think I will, hopefully. I'm a person that doesn't really like to play games. I think I'm too honest. Like, I kind of have this mentality of I don't give a crap, so I'm going to say what I want and you either take it or you don't. Okay, this is what my profile would probably be if I was on it. <laughs> I am... Let me think about this for a while. Okay, so for mascara, I'm using this Innisfree skinny waterproof mascara I love this so much because look at the wand it's so thin and it's got these little fibers on it that extend your eyelashes and if you guys have small uh, eyes or monolid eyes or big eyes or whatever it just grabs the eyelashes so well 
Okay, so let's do some highlighting. So for the cheeks, I'm gonna go complete this bronzy look with the Glossier Haloscope. This is the bronze one. I'm just gonna put that on my fingers. Dab that. It's like a really creamy highlighter. It's not a sparkly highlighter. It just creates a really, it just looks like your skin is very dewy. It looks nice on the cheek. Okay, and for lips, I'm gonna use this Style Nanda. So Style Nanda has really cute makeup, actually. It's, they also do clothing. It's a very well-known Korean brand. And I love, I love this shade. It's a matte lipstick in the shade 907 Old Dress. And it's like a mauve shade, which I think will go perfectly with this eye. Oh my God, my lips are so dry. just create such a pouty look. Okay, zoom out! Oops. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is... Ooh, I have a pimple on the chest. Ow! Okay, this is my two-day-old hair. Let me just show you what I do with greasy hair. Oh, wait, before I do that, okay. Answer to my question of my hypothetical um, coffee beats bagel profile. I would do, I am a cheese enthusiast, pun lover, sometimes contradictory. <laughs> um, for the I like, I would be, I like self-deprecating humor, staying in as much as I like being out, which is part of the contradiction because I'm always just confused about what I actually want. And third one, waking up, and having nothing to do <laughs> because I haven't been able to feel that in a very, very long time. I always wake up kind of like <gasps> anxious, like, or oh, wake up scared thinking I missed, I don't know, or I wake up too late and I missed something, I don't know. And then the third one is I like when my date is, hmm, I like when my date is smelling fresh. I love like nice smelling guys. <laughs> can be carefree and I like when my date also has a serious side yeah that would be my profile and then all my pictures would look like this those are my three pictures <laughs> and then it would really test whether they can see in her beauty <laughs> okay anyway I'm gonna use this Kenzo face day spray it smells so nice and guys it's lotus fresh lotus water <laughs> and it's just really nice to set all the makeup um, in place so just hold it like this and on the body oh my god it feels so nice this is a hundred percent natural plant water um, the white lotus water it's a fresh water mist to spray on your face it wakes your skin up in the morning and refreshes during the day it soothes and tones at night as well and it's suitable for all skin tones and look how pretty this packaging is I just love simple packaging I appreciate simplicity maybe I should add that onto my hypothetical profile okay so with hair there's a hair in there First is dry shampoo, the Verb dry shampoo. You can get this at Sephora, I got this on Sephora. So what you do is you just kind of flip your hair through the layers of nastiness. I don't really like it a lot compared to like other ones because it's, to me, it's kind of like the Batiste dry shampoos. You put it on and it like, the hair is still really flat and it regains oil kind of quicker. So I'm just gonna quickly Oh my god, I hate wires. After I curl it, I'm gonna go in with this. It's the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. So that is it there. It's a volumizing and texturizing powder. And holy shiz balls. This is good, man. Really, really, really good. Alright, so after you've curled it, however you want to curl it, um, this thing is a 10 out of 10. I love it so much. It actually creates so much texture and makes it like thick. I don't know here, I'll show you. Take some hair and I just kind of sprinkle it in there. 
and then just scrunch it up. So typically I put this on the mid section and then also a little bit on the root so that you can kind of do your hair flip like this and it'll stay in place like here and then just scrunch it up and then on the mid And that, my folks, <coughs> I inhaled. It's texturizing my esophagus. <coughs> but yeah, guys. So that's how you get that kind of messy, big hair. Now, let's go harass my roommate. <laughs> I thought it was on my side. Are we going? Yes. Oh look, we can hear it even more. Dun 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 dun. I'm going to get changed. So, Les, we came outside. That is the festival, as you can hear. And I'm going to the shady laundromat. <laughs> but in style, IKEA bag for life. <laughs> okay. This one? Have you done it here yet? Yeah. Two dollar. This is a quarter. This is the only coin I know how to use in America. They said run it. He's load up the cash monies. Boom. Yeah. Excellent work. And now you have to carry this for another 25 minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Sunshine. So my laundry is done apparently. Laundry, laundry, laundry. Guys, us and our neighbor, the fourth the floor. Uh, that one is Leslie. Everyone, throw eggs at that window. So we're going to Boba Guys to get bubble tea. Well, just me because Les felt healthy and got a passion fruit slushy. It doesn't even sound healthy at all. <laughs> which is all sugar. At Canal Street Market, which is kind of cool. They have overpriced artsy things. This is what Lower East Side looks like. Minus the dude who just walked into my shot. Thanks very much. I like that there's cheap food everywhere. That's true, Vanessa's dumplings, which you've had like four or five times now. The dumplings are only $1.50 or like $2.50. Okay, their one ton soup is quality. One ton mean Jose. Gay Jose. Yes. Ho ho sick. <laughs> People have no idea what I'm talking about. Double chin. Oh, this cafe looks so cute. It's called Cafe. So SEO creative. Oh, look at this, dude. This doll looks so cute. I need a photo of it. Instagram has some material. <laughs> this is what happens when you hand me the camera. <laughs> Alright, so we're in Canal Street Market right now. Boba Guys is there, so I'll probably wait a little longer, but holy crap, this is all new. 
this whole like food market. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ippudo's baby, the Karobi. <laughs> Cause this place used to just be like a bunch of artists selling their stuff, which is just behind there. And all of this is new. <laughs> And then we enter the Instagram heaven. They all die. How cute! There's a mast. What's this one? Goat milk. No. Try this one. Favorite place. You will be seeing me here all the time. So that was the food hall. There's a big sign, and we missed it, which was why we were so confused. So cool guys! We're happy chappies. It's the best tea Les has had. Yeah. Must get Uwa. And then I got the rose black milk tea. Okay, time to retrieve washing. We're going the wrong way. Back home now. Les! <laughs> And I'm gonna do my nails now because it's Sunday and you know that's time to do some sort of pampering. Um, and I wanna show you guys the nail polish that I've been really liking. Normally I use pastel colors and this one is in Esmalte, I have no idea. So it's a really pretty um, lilac gray kind of shade. Alrighties, all clean, and then normally I'll just kind of buff them so they're kind of straight. I don't know if you can see this. So I like to have them kind of square, so I'll just kind of go like this and then round it off like that. Okay, so let me show you this color because it is fantastic. Got some on the skin. So this is the first layer. So I usually put two layers. So I'm going to do that with both hands. And then I'll show you what the plumping coat does. Now watch me bomb the left hand. Struggle. Okay, I shall be back. Hopefully they're still light when I come back because, and hopefully I don't accidentally press this onto the bed sheets or something, as that always happens. Now, time for the plumping coat. Okay, so I did two coats of the color and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. So it just makes it like thicker and glossy. All right, so it's like that makes it really shiny and it gives it this like extra plumping effect. Uh, which actually works. So with this, the thicker you want it, the more coats you can put on top and it will just get shinier as well. See, it's so pretty. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my random day of festivities. This was pretty much like a normal kind of Sunday that I don't really do anything that special. So a little update, this little corner is going to be gone. I ordered a desk. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Bing.